Up over here is the 400DX project I was mentioning you guys. I was mentioning to you guys, and you guys kept wanting to see an update. Here's a 450R. I'm just charging up the battery on it, cause voltage regulator ain't doing it. So if I charge up the battery and it goes dead again, then I need a new voltage regulator. Anyway, the guy gave it to me. He goes, "Look, if you want, uh, I have some bald tires that I can swap out with these." I said, am I going to save any money? He goes, no. I said, no. Then I'll keep the new ones. He goes, okay. So I got brand new rear ambush tires on it. Bald front hole shots. Uh, basically, I did not buy it as a rolling chassis. Well, I did buy it as a rolling chassis. But I do have the motor and everything. Uh, here's what I got with it. It's a 04 frame. Uh, it has a full teardown on it and fresh powder coat. Actually, it does not look that bad at all. Not really liking the gray, but what are you going to do? I didn't do the build, so can't really say much. Uh, headlights are on the front plastic over there, and the back plastic are on the floor over there. Uh, oil cooler, basically. Here she is. Handlebars are loose. They move easily. The shocks are nice. It's painted the tie rods that a full tear down on it. <clears throat> tear down, not tear, and then whatever that was. Uh, yeah, it came with a Lex uh, rear pipe, stock rear pipe, gas tank, of course. Canon air filter, no air box, extra cylinder and piston. Uh, the race car, the stock car, and a whole bunch of motor mounts and shit, and everything else. Yeah, Alright, ma. So, yeah, so I got that. I got the side plastics, got that. I got the back plastics for the aftermarket seat. Looks pretty good when it's com uh, complete. Basically, here's why I bought it, or here's why I got it. Guy said it was missing a counterbalancer on the clutch cover. I started, I should have thought to myself that there was no counterbalancer on the clutch cover. He said there was something that went in here. I was missing, and I still, to this moment, I still don't know what it is. I still got to figure it out. And then he goes, all you have to do is put that in, and you're good. Well, the tranny was seized up because this bearing was so tight because he put the seal on wrong. So now I fixed that. I just got to take that out and re-oil it. This bearing over here just needs some fresh oil. This is the actual counterbalancer on it. And crank is good. Said I had a 470 big bore kit, a whole bunch of stuff done to it. But as you can see, standard. So, I already bought new rings for the Namira piston, even though these already look brand new, but I don't care. New rings, I already bought new timing chain, it's right there. New timing chain, uh, all new gaskets and valve seals and shit, oil seals. Uh, rings, I said. Bought a whole bunch of stuff. I bought a clutch, bought some washers that were missing on the clutch side, bought a whole bunch of stuff. But basically, yeah, here it is. Got the whole motor. Um, got the top end over here. Cylinder's pretty clean. Tranny, clutch springs, clutch is under here. Get, I already ordered a new one. Oil pump, crank gear. Got it all here. So basically, that's my project. Build a motor, which all the parts are already on order. Put it together, and the guy said it should run. So, wish me luck. Goodbye.